Coming up next on Passion Struck, life's journey is often characterized by taking paths less traveled. And in such cases, remaining open-minded about course corrections becomes essential for progress. The unpredictable nature of these paths may lead to unexpected turns and detours, but instead of perceiving them as setbacks, we should view them as opportunities for growth and learning. Welcome to Passion Struck. Hi, I'm your host, John R. Miles, and on the show, we decipher the secrets, tips, and guidance of the world's most inspiring people and turn their wisdom into practical advice for you and those around you. Our mission is to help you unlock the power of intentionality so that you can become the best version of yourself. If you're new to the show, I offer advice and answer listener questions on Fridays. We have long form interviews the rest of the week with guests ranging from astronauts to authors, CEOs, creators, innovators, scientists, military leaders, visionaries, and athletes. Now, let's go out there and become passion struck. In today's episode, we embark on the extraordinary journey of the road less traveled, inspired by the iconic words of Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. These words resonate deeply, capturing the essence of venturing off the beaten path. Though it may seem daunting, the road less traveled holds the promise of unparalleled growth and discovery, leading us to unexplored realms, brimming with transformative experiences that shape us into stronger individuals and ultimately bring us fulfillment. Join me on this exploration as we walk alongside one of today's most influential figures, Malala Yousafzai, the Nobel Peace Prize laureate and education activist. Yousafzai's remarkable journey reveals the critical aspects of embracing the unconventional path and making an impact on a global scale. Throughout this episode, we'll dive into the significance of recognizing the signs that validate our chosen trajectory. We will navigate the complexities of loneliness and uncover how solitude can be harnessed as a wellspring of strength and inspiration. By learning from Yousafzai's extraordinary life, we will gain invaluable lessons that empower us to walk the path of passion and purpose. As we immerse ourselves in Malala Yousafzai's story, we discover her unwavering commitment to education, women's rights, and social change. Together, we will uncover the pivotal moments that shaped Yousafzai's journey towards becoming a catalyst for transformative impact, unlocking the immense rewards that await those who dare to challenge the status quo. Are you ready to embark on this transformative journey on the road less traveled? Then let's dive in, guided by the wisdom of Malala Yousafzai and the timeless words of Robert Frost as we uncover the extraordinary possibilities that await those who are daring to dream big. Embarking on a less traveled journey is never easy. It often involves challenges, uncertainties, and moments of solitude. Yet, in these very moments, we find the true signs of progress, indicating that we are inching closer to our desired destination. Such is the extraordinary journey of Malala Yousafzai, a young woman whose unwavering courage and commitment have reshaped the world's perception of education and gender equality. Before her activism propelled her into the international spotlight, Yousafzai's story began in the picturesque Swat Valley of Pakistan, a region brimming with natural beauty and rich cultural heritage. Amidst the laughter and playful innocence of children, a darker reality loomed for girls and women. In 2007, the Swat Valley was invaded by the Tariq El Taliban Pakistan, known as TTP, led by Maluna Fazlullah. The TTP imposed strict Islamic law, destroyed or shut down girls' schools, banned women from an active role in society, and carried out suicide bombings. In this deeply patriarchal society, access to education was considered a privilege only reserved for boys, while girls faced oppression and limited opportunities. But Malala's thirst for knowledge burned brightly. She eagerly pursued education, cherishing every chance to broaden her horizons and expand her mind. Yet the road to learning was treacherous, overshadowed by the oppressive rule of the Taliban. Their reign of terror sought to suppress dissent as well as progressive thinking, casting a shadow of fear and uncertainty over the lives of Malala and her peers. As she continued her pursuit of education and gender equality, loneliness became an inevitable companion on Yousafzai's journey as tensions escalated and girls' education faced severe threats. At a critical crossroads, torn between conformity and the pursuit of a brighter future, Malala made a courageous choice to step forward and make 
her voice heard. In September 2008, at just 11 years old, Malala delivered a powerful speech to a local press club in Peshawar titled, How Dare the Taliban Take Away My Basic Right to Education. Her words reverberated throughout Pakistan, shedding light on the plight of the girls in Swat Valley and their fight for education. In response to the escalating crisis, the British Broadcasting Corporation, known as BBC, approached Malala's father, seeking a voice that could articulate the experiences of living under Taliban rule. Writing under the pseudonym of Gul Makai, Malala began sharing her blog entries in January 2009 for BBC Urdu, documenting her daily life and the challenges that she faced. Her writings not only voiced her own struggles, but also became a testament of resilience and defiance against oppression. As the TTP's grip tightened, Lala's path became increasingly perilous. Threats and violence forced her into hiding, separating her from her friends and loved ones. The weight of isolation bore heavily on her spirit, testing her resolve and resilience. In the depths of solitude, however, Malala discovered an unexpected wellspring of strength. Drawing upon her inner resilience, she decided that she would persevere in her fight for education and equality. She discovered the power of her own voice. Malala transformed her solitude into inner strength using the quiet moments of introspection to gather her thoughts and reflect on the impact of her mission. Refusing to be silenced by fear or intimidation, she channeled her inner fortitude and used her platform to advocate for education and gender equality on a global scale. Similar to Malala, it can be challenging when we face loneliness head on, particularly when those around us may doubt us. Yet within solitude, lies the opportunity for introspection, an invitation to deepen our self-understanding and clarify our vision for success. By exploring our inner selves, we unlock our true capabilities and gain the confidence to tackle any challenge that comes our way. In fact, research has shown that individuals who spend time alone often develop stronger emotional resilience and are better equipped to handle stress effectively. These qualities are invaluable when navigating uncharted territories on the road less traveled. So in these moments of solitude, embrace the opportunity to cultivate inner strength, nurture your resilience, and stay true to your visions, knowing that even in the face of isolation and setbacks, you can forge a path that leads to personal growth and meaningful impact. Now let's get back to the story of Yusuf Sai. During 2009, her courageous journey gained momentum as she fearlessly made her television debut, raising her voice against the injustices faced by girls in Pakistan. Although a temporary ceasefire allowed the girls to attend school, the resurgence of violence pushed the Yusuf Sai family to seek refuge outside of the Swat Valley. It was during this period that Malala collaborated with the New York Times, creating impactful documentaries that shed light on the profound impact of the school shutdowns and shared her inspiring story to a global audience. Driven by unwavering determination for change, Malala sought out Richard Holbrook, the U.S. Special Envoy to Afghanistan and Pakistan, in her quest to protect girls' education for her homeland. Her boundless commitment knew no bounds as she sought out allies on the road to equality. Through these emotional encounters and collaborations, Malala's indomitable spirit sparked a flame that resonated with people around the world. Her resilience on the road less traveled inspired countless individuals to stand alongside her, amplifying her message and advocating for a future where every girl had access to education. By December 2009, the world had recognized Malala as the BBC's young blogger, propelling her into the spotlight and garnering widespread acclaim for her courageous action. Her unwavering commitment to education caught the attention of esteemed human rights activist Desmond Tutu, who nominated her for the International Children's Peace Prize in October 2011. The world began to truly comprehend the extraordinary resilience and determination embodied by Malala. In December 2011, Malala received Pakistan's first National Youth Peace Prize, an esteemed honor later renamed the National Malala Peace Prize. These accolades were powerful affirmations of Malala's profound impact and the significance of her cause. Her unwavering dedication inspired so many others to embark on the road less traveled, cultivating a global movement for education and peace. Just as Malala sought out allies and collaborators, we too can forge relationships that strengthen our journeys. We amplify our collective by surrounding ourselves with individuals who share our vision and values. Through collaboration, we tap into diverse 
perspectives, knowledge, and resources, enabling us to overcome personal challenges and achieve greater heights. While we draw valuable lessons from Malala's journey, we must also recognize that even with strong collaboration, we will face defining moments that put our resolve to the ultimate test. Such a moment arrived for Malala on October 9, 2012, when a Taliban gunman boarded her school bus and targeted her. In that harrowing moment, the fragility of life became painfully apparent as Malala was shot in the head. Miraculously, she survived and was flown from Peshawar to Birmingham where she had surgery. The incident sparked global outrage and ignited a wave of support for Malala's cause. Protests erupted worldwide and influential figures like the UN Special Envoy for Global Education, Gordon Brown, championed her mission. Her resilience and survival against all odds became a symbol of hope and inspired action and policy change. In a remarkable tribute to Malala's unwavering courage, Pakistan President Asif Ali Zardari announced the launch of a 10 million education fund in her honor. This fund aimed to further the cause of education and uplift the lives of countless children. Malala's defining moment exemplifies the power of one individual to spark a global movement for change. Her unwavering commitment, even in the face of adversity, reminds us that we also will encounter moments on our own journeys that test our resolve. By harnessing our inner resilience and drawing upon the support of like-minded individuals, we have the power to ignite flames of change and make a lasting impact on the world. Following her recovery, Malala resumed her activism and studies in Birmingham. On her 16th birthday, July 12, 2013, she made a remarkable comeback, delivering a powerful speech to 500 attendees of the United Nations in New York City. Her words resonated deeply, solidifying her as an emblem of hope and courage. Recognizing her extraordinary bravery, Malala garnered numerous accolades. In 2013, she was awarded the United Nations Human Rights Prize and was named one of Time Magazine's most influential people. That same year, her memoir, I Am Malala, a girl who stood up for education and was shot by a Taliban, shared her remarkable journey with the world. As her advocacy work expanded, Malala's impact reached new heights. In 2014, she became the youngest recipient of the Liberty Medal, a prestigious honor recognizing her unwavering commitment to freedom and human rights. The pinnacle of her achievements arrived the same year when she was bestowed the Nobel Peace Prize, making her the youngest Nobel laureate in history. Malala's compassion and dedication transcended borders. In 2015, with the support of the Malala Fund, she established a girls' school in Lebanon, offering education to Syrian refugees affected by the ongoing conflict. In 2017, her children's book, Malala's Magic Pencil, shared her childhood experiences, inspiring young readers to believe in the transformation transformative power of education. Her commitment to uplifting others and advocating for the rights of the displaced resonated in her book, We Are Displaced. Even after these historical milestones, Malala remained steadfast in her pursuit of education. In 2020, she proudly graduated from the University of Oxford, exemplifying the strength of perseverance. Malala's remarkable odyssey, from tragedy to triumph, continues to inspire people worldwide. Her resolute faith in the transformative power of education, her unwavering commitment to travel traveling the road less traveled, and her relentless pursuit of justice collectively serve as a beacon of hope for a brighter future. Malala has unequivocally proven that positive change is possible and attainable even amidst the most formidable challenges. Much like Malala, our own life's journey often involves navigating the road less traveled. In these moments, it's vital to maintain an open mind and be willing to make course corrections for continued progress. These unconventional paths can be unpredictable, leading us to encounter unexpected turns and detours. However, instead of perceiving them as deviations or setbacks, we should embrace them as invaluable opportunities for personal growth and learning. Here are some key takeaways from Alala's journey that can guide us on our own journeys on taking the road less traveled. Dealing with loneliness. Loneliness is a common experience when venturing on an unconventional path. Malala's story teaches us that while loneliness may be present, it does not have to hinder our progress. Instead of allowing loneliness to discourage us, we can view it as an opportunity for self-reflection and personal growth. It is during these solitary moments that we can delve deeper into our purpose, reconnect with our values, and gain a clearer understanding of our path. Embrace your convictions. Malala's story teaches 
teaches us the importance of standing firm in our beliefs, even when faced with opposition or adversity. She refused to be silenced in the face of aggressive forces and advocated tirelessly for her mission. Similarly, we can find the strength to follow our own convictions, no matter how unconventional they may be. Be willing to face challenges. Lala's path was fraught with challenges and dangers, yet she did not waver in her intentional pursuit of change. Her story is a testament to the indomitable human spirit and the strength that lies within each of us. Despite the life-threatening challenges, she exhibited unwavering resilience and determination. When navigating the road less traveled, we are also likely to encounter obstacles and setbacks. Just as Malala demonstrated remarkable resilience, we must also get ready to confront obstacles, navigate them with perseverance and determination, knowing that they are an inherent part of our journey. In times of struggle or adversity when we are alone, our inner resilience becomes our greatest ally, ignoring detractors while standing true to your vision. Walking the road less traveled often invites criticism and detractors. Actors. Malala's unwavering commitment to her vision and values, despite facing opposition, offers a valuable lesson in staying true to oneself. Rather than allowing the negative opinions of others to deter us, we can draw inspiration from Malala's story and remain steadfast in our convictions. By focusing on our purpose and the positive impact that we seek to create, we can confidently ignore detractors and continue to forge towards making a difference in our own unique way. Pursue education and knowledge. Education played a central and critical role in Malala's life and her advocacy for girls' education. She recognized its power to transform lives and societies. Similarly, we can prioritize continual learning and seek knowledge to empower ourselves and make informed choices on our unique paths. Dare to make a difference. Malala's stories shows us that one person's voice can spark a movement and inspire change. Even if our journey seems small in comparison, we can still make a difference in our spheres of influence. Each action, no matter how small, has the potential to create ripples of positive change throughout the world. And lastly, stay true to yourself. Malala's authenticity and her values became the foundation of her impact. On our own roads less traveled, we must remain true to ourselves and not compromise our core principles. Authenticity breeds connection and allows us to make a genuine impact on the world. By drawing upon these lessons from Malala's remarkable journey, we can find the courage to embrace the road less traveled in our own lives. Doing so can forge a unique path that leads to personal fulfillment and contributes to a better world. Malala's story reminds us that no matter how daunting the journey may seem, we have the power to make a meaningful impact, create a brighter future for ourselves and others. As we navigate our own roads less traveled, let us carry the torch of resilience, conviction, and compassion that Malala has illuminated for us. Let her remarkable journey serve as a guiding light, inspiring us to overcome personal challenges, advocate for justice and equality, and make positive changes to the world around us. In the footsteps of Malala Yousafzai, let us forge ahead with unwavering determination, knowing that the road less traveled holds the potential for extraordinary personal growth, transformative change, and a better tomorrow for all. I hope you all enjoyed the show, and I wanted to thank everyone who wrote in this week, and especially those who came today and listened. You're about to hear a preview of the Passion Struck podcast interview that I did with Dr. Connell Cohen and Dr. David Kipper, who have uncovered the breakthrough science of neurotransmitters and why they can reveal a clear path to overcoming bad habits that sabotage success in your career, love, and life. We discussed their book, Override, Discover Your Brain Type, Why You Do What You Do, and How to Do It Better. What we found in our research was that we are sorted out into two different brain types. We each fit into one of these brain types. They're based on a, a deficiency in one of two neurotransmitters that we inherit. So we don't actually have a choice about which team we're on. And one of the transmitters is dopamine, which is a more activating neurotransmitter. And the other transmitter is serotonin, which is a more calming neurotransmitter. And to go a little deeper, these two interfacing transmitter types are necessary for evolution in order for the species to evolve, and not just in humans, but in all animals. Remember, we rise by lifting others. So share the show with those you love. And if you found this episode useful, please share it with somebody else who could use the advice that I gave today on how someone you love can take the road less traveled. In the meantime, do your best to apply what you hear so that you can live what you listen. And until next time, go out there and become passion struck.